Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another top 10 comic book covers of the month <laughs> and what I do on this is each month I look at my favourite top 10 my favourite 10 co comics that I got from the past month and I pick a winner so these are the past f four months this is January, February, March and April these were my previous winners and today we're going to find a new one for the month of May so let's go and get into this one So little Dennis is with us and he's got his friends Clive the Chicken and Peter with him. So what I do is I put these four over here. They can sit down here. So I've got the list here. The super special list. Yeah. So what I do is, these are my top 10 favourite comic book covers that I've held in my hand for the first time during the month of May. And I like to start with some honourable mentions. So the first one we've got, you can see there, look, it's actually, it's issue three of The Neighbours. So this one didn't make it into my top ten. But this is The Neighbours issue three by the artist Miguel Mercado. And what I like about this one is, it's like creepy. There's a real sort of sense of, sort of, um, scariness to it. It's cool it is. I don't know if the colours are popping, I'm not sure if the colours are quite coming out on the um, the camera but it's got very nice nice colours that one. Another one that didn't make it, this is Something is Killing the Children, issue number 30. Look at that, look. that's by the artist Ario and in Ditto. Ha! Quite a funny name. What I like about this one is, how sort of simple it is. It's just cool it is. I like it. There's not lots of nice big shapes going on in that one. I thought it was cool that one. And I got this one in the comic shop. I think, yeah, I got that in the comic. I got that one off of Forbidden Planet and this one in the comic shop last month. And then the final one that didn't quite make it. I'm surprised this didn't make it into the top 10. Because this is a Harlequin, one of my favourite characters. Harlequin issue number 11. And this is by Frank Chow. Like the beautiful... What I like about this one is that... Well, firstly, you've got a tiny little bit of... Sorry about my nails as well. <laughs> I've been working and I've broke all my nails. But you've got a tiny little bit of red on their lips. So like the Joker and Harley have got a bit of red on them. And what I was thinking was, it's like... It's like unifying these two characters. It's bringing the characters together with that little bit of colour. But another thing I like is all these little, all the little cats. Can you see all the little cats all, all around here? Yeah. Now there's one cat, I'm not quite sure. You see that one there? You see their bum? I think they should have turned that cat around so you saw the head. That's what I'm thinking. But those three there, they didn't make the top ten. So this is how cool it is. The thing is, there's so many beautiful comics out there. That's what I'm noticing. But we're going to get into the top 10 now. And the first one, oh, what happened was I went into the comic shop, going through the £1 bins, and there was loads of the Jartoris comics. There was like loads of them. So I, I got, well, they were like a pound each. So this one here in, in 10th place is the Jartoris Winter's End by the artist Sebastian Pires. Now, what I like about this one is, I don't feel like it's a super special cover in terms of the um, like the com the composition or something. What I like is the the style of it. Look at the way she's like sort of made out of. It's all like nice big lines, and it sort of feels a bit cell like a cell shaded. So I thought that was cool. That was, and that was my favourite. The Jar Tourist from the bunch that I got in the comic shop in the pound bins. But the next one I actually got from the comic shop is another De Jar Tourist, but it's the latest issue, issue number three. By the, this is one of my favourite artists, Leslie Lyrics Lee. Now, the funny thing about this is, when I saw this in the previews catalogue, I wasn't that excited by it. But when I got it in, when I got it in my hands, and that. 
it's much more beautiful in person and that's a funny thing because there's a few comics in this list which when I saw them I thought they were going to be the best thing ever and then when you get them they're not quite as nice and then sometimes it's, it goes the other way as well so you can't really tell what the comics are going to be like until you've got them in your hands but in 8th position so this is on cardstock paper this is another Harlequin plop he multiversity Harley screws up the DCU issue 3 is it so this one here is by the artist Tyler Kirkham what I like about this is she is a very sort of vulnerable looking Harlequin I just think it's cool and I like I like this sort of um the, I like the feeling of this one there's just something about it but it is really it's her sort of look how like there's a sweetness about her almost as if she's about to start crying so, so like it's quite that's for me that's like an emotional one I suppose and now we're going into seventh position now this one here is a super thick one and this is one of those that I thought was going to be my favorite of the month when I, f I first saw this um, a couple of months ago in the previews comic shop catalogue look at that look it is beautiful but I thought it was going to be more beautiful but it is still beautiful <laughs> and this is Camon America Scars and Bars it's a one shot by the Angel Arts and it's also it's a virgin variant I personally don't I'm not super into my virgin variants I actually prefer the cover to have a bit of text on it like the title because then it feels like a comic because like when it's like this I feel like you might as well just get a poster or a print so when you've got the text on it it feels like a especially if the, the text fits in with the image that's what I'm thinking but I do like that one it's cool the only thing is I feel like her breasts are a bit too big <laughs> that's, that's the only thing but that is cool that one I do like that one, but it was one of those one of because I thought she was going to win this month, but surprisingly she's only in seventh position, which is unbelievable. Same as this one as well. So this is Cinderella versus the Queen of Hearts issue number two, and this is by the artist Iga Lo Lomov. Now again, this is a beautiful one. I do love this to bits, but the thing for me is. You see these black borders on here? I feel like that's... If you worked it out, that's probably about... 10% of the cover has actually got a black border on it. So I feel like this is a, Zeny, a Zenniscope comic. I don't know why Zenniscope have decided to put like these big black borders on their, on their covers. Because I think it sort of ruins it a little bit. If you took that off but kept the Cinderella, the text there... Because again, really, what is that adding to the um, to the cover? To the, to the do you really need to know that it's got thirty two pages of content? Yeah, that's the thing. What I like about this though is look at look how beautiful she is. It's cool. You can just feel like she's a complete, even though she is like in a really troubled situation. You can feel like she she knows that she's going to be alright. That's how confident she is in herself. That's cool, that is. So that was in sixth position. Now in fifth position, this is another DC cardstock one. This is beautiful. This is Punchline the Gotham Game, issue number four, by the artist Warren Lowe. Now, Warren Lowe, look how that pops. That is so beautiful. Warren Lowe is one of my. What happened was in 2013 when I first started drawing. I remember picking up an Imagine FX magazine and there was a Warren Lowe painting in it and I went onto their website and I fell in love with them straight away. And then the funny thing is, all these years later when I got into comics, I suddenly realised that that artist actually makes comic book covers. So the first thing is, Punchline is one of my new, it's like a character I'm really get, getting into. And I actually got one of these punchlines in a... A mystery box from Comic Biz, 
And then I, what happened was I went on eBay to look for other comics and I saw this one. I fell in, I like the colours of it. It's cool. So like that's brilliant. Now that's in fifth position. Now in fourth position, look we've got another neighbours one. Now this one is neighbours issue two. Wait until you see this. How beautiful is that look? So this is Neighbours issue number two by the artist Zoo or Zoo. But look how look how sort of intense that look is. And the other thing that's cool about it is there's sort of like two images in one here. You've got this skull and you've got her head. So it's almost like you can sort of, if you focus on her head, you see her head. If you focus on the skull, you see the skull. It's quite a clever one, that. And it's nice and simple. But it's for, for me, it's like the emotion in that one. Brilliant. These two here have both got a lot of emotion in them, look. Now this one was actually in third position, but what happened is right, right at the um, because what I do is I put all the comics on the floor, stand back and look at them, and you can really see which ones pop. Yeah. And what happened was this one, I decided to move this one up the list a bit. So in third position, dun dun dun, Noctera issue number fourteen. This is by the artists Tony S. Daniel and Marcella May Iola. I put all the thingy majigs in the. I put links and everything to the artist in the description as well. But this is another one. I saw this in the previews comic shop catalogue. What I love about this is, again, it's the look in her eyes, the fact she's covered in blood. You're wondering what's happening here. And there's like a, a proper, proper sort of um, determined look in her eyes. But look, what, I don't know why they've done it, but that white. It looks like there's a spotlight behind her. Like they've really the lighting on that, I love it. And again, it's nice and simple. Look, it's got quite a lot of text on it, but the text is nicely put in with the um the cover. Whereas I think this one here, the text the text hasn't been put in nicely and it that's what's brought that cover down for me. Because I think when you look at when you look at these Zenniscopes in the previews comic shop catalogue, you, they don't have that black thing on it, so sometimes they look a bit better in the thingy. But that was in third position, so we're into the top ten now. Look at this, look, we've got a Hit Girl comic. Well, before we get into that, I just want to show you something. Because again, I went into the comic shop last month, in May, and there was loads of Hit Girl comics in there and kick-ass comics so I, I picked up loads of them now my favourite ones are these black and white ones but I, put, I thought I got both of these because I couldn't quite decide on what was better black and white or the coloured one but what happened was I picked up all of the black and white ones because I, I was loving them I was and this one here is my favourite hit girl comic that I got from the one pound bins in the comic shop and she's in second place that's how good she is so this is hit girl issue number six by the artist Goran Parlov and it's a black and white one it's just again I like the simpleness of it I like because what it is is when you're copying these comics it's much easier to like sketch and copy the line art so for me I'm thinking more about like sketching this one. Ooh, nearly dropped it. <laughs> but the thing I love about this is sexiness. Look at it, look. Actually, her head is about the same size as me, look. <laughs> That's quite cool. So what I've no what I've, what I've noticed is I love comics where the cover is either like a, a head or or it's a um, what you, it's a, like what you call it? Focus on the character. I like covers with just focus on the character. So in the, in the first position, this is amazing. So look, it's a, it, we know it's a Zenniscope because it's got a Robin Hood advert on the back. You wait until you see this. Look, in first position, we've got actually I'm gonna do it like that. Do, 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 do. 
Da -da 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 -da. Red Agent, The Human Order, issue number six. This is a Zenniscope comic, and this is by the artist Keith Garvey. Again, what's happening here is, look how much she's popping. Like, she's red and she's she's popping. That is, for, for me, this is, every now and again you'll see a comic and, or you see a piece of artwork and it just, it feels like perfection. And this is what this is. The white and the red is amazing. The way the background's out of focus. Look at her face though. Look how beautiful she is, look. I mean, she is so beautiful. And also, the thing about this one is, it makes me want to dress up in that outfit and pose like that. Yeah, so I can imagine how sexy that feels to be posing like that. This, I could, this one here, I could look at this forever and still... This is one of those comics that... Because what happens is, every now and again, there's a comic. The more you look at it, the more you fall in love with it. I can tell that's what's going to happen here. But what happened was... Last month I went on eBay and I just saw this by accident and as soon as I saw it I had to have it. It was one of those. So in a strange way, the, a lot of the comics that I thought were going to win this, this month, they actually ended up being like in the bottom half. And it was like comics that came from nowhere. The only comic that I pre-ordered was this one. So that was actually my top three, my top three comics for this month. I just think they're beautiful. So in tenth position we had no not in first position we had this one. Second we had Hit Girl. Then we had Noctero. Then it was The Neighbours. Punchline. Cinderella versus the Queen of Hearts. This one Cameron I wish you could feel how heavy that is. It's like that's however heavy that one. We've got Harlequin. And then we got the two the jar tortoises. So those were my top ten comics for the month. And this one here now, Red Agent, she actually joins the previous winners. So we've got we got January, which was that one, and that was Gun Honey. That was Gun Honey, Blood for Blood number one by Art Gem. And I'll put links there, I think, in the description to the previous videos I've done. This one here, this was in February, Horizon Zero Dawn issue number three by one of my favourite artists, Lowish. I love that one I do. This one was, this one would have been March, this is 15 Love issue number two by the artist Show Marash. And then last month we had that one, Justice League issue number 75 by the artist Will Jack. So I've, I've actually fallen in love with this. Well, I've fallen in love with that artist as well, Will Jack. But look, she now joins the list. And does she does she fit in nicely? Yes. So I'm not allowed to say which one I think is going to win this year. I've got to save that to the end. Because what I do is at the end of the year, at the end of the year, I should have 12 beautiful comics. And I'm going to do like a big finale <laughs> where I have to pick me winner. And, well, it's, ch it's changing all the time. Because it's quite funny as well. One of the covers that I thought was going to... I thought it was easy going to win it. What's happened is the more I've like looked at it, I've actually... I've actually fallen... It's gone down the list a bit. Which was quite weird. So you can't really tell what's going to happen. But that's it. This is... The top, the top um, favourite comics of the month so far, Red Agent. So please let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have picked that one? And also, what do you think about these covers like that? Do you prefer the black and white ones or the, the coloured ones? It's cool, it is, though. But this, this comic here looks brilliant. Look at the artwork inside, look. It's brilliant, it is. So I really, look at that there, I mean she almost won this, she was going to win it and then what happened was I saw this one on eBay, so like she came from nowhere this one, but that is amazing as well, and it's on a nice matte paper as well, which is quite cool, yeah. 
I really hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you later for another one.